So the orgasm multiple stick is for eyes, cheeks, and lips. You literally can use your finger to apply it on the cheeks, uh, down the bridge of the nose, on the eyes, anywhere you want to, including on the lips. You can use it under or over your lip color. There's no wrong way to do it. I can actually use my finger or the brush. If you use your finger, it comes out a little bit lighter. Your fingers are your tools, so always go in with your finger. Even if you use your brush, go in with your finger to warm the product up. It makes it look a little bit more like skin when you do that. Try not pulling on the skin too much, but use that. I usually use this as a base first, um, the multiple, and then you can go over it. I even use it as a base on bare skin before I put on foundation, and it gives you a natural highlight to the skin. So using that first. Um, it's taking dust across the lid. If you have your eyeshadow base, use your eyeshadow base first. And then use this after. Just bring it right up on the brow bone. Most ladies highlight like their brows anyway. You see how it starts to give you color? So it'll start kind of giving the eye overall color, but connect the eye to the cheek and then pull it all the way out. Just like that. So even when you do your contour color and you're coming down and you're contouring the face, after you contour the cheek, pull it across the eye. Yeah, lip gloss, orgasm, um, highlighter, orgasm, powder blush. Like it comes in so many different forms. So what I'm gonna do is actually use this first. Even if you, no matter what lip color you're using, I don't care what it is, use the Afterglow Lip Balm or the Clean Cut Lip Balm on the lip first. It has a minoid complex, so it's super hydrating. Even when I'm working with my girls, um, Paris, New York, London Fashion Weeks, I always put that on, even if I'm working with celebrity clientele, you put that on them first. Have you ever done your makeup and while you're doing it, while you're actually doing your makeup, you're like, you know, it's not coming together because you don't have anything on your lip. Or if you're an artist and you're working with your client and she's seeing it, but you're like, just don't look yet. Because I haven't done your lip. <laughs> so actually take this, apply it to the lip first. So while you're doing the lip color and everything else, can you put one on? She feels super hydrated and she has a pinch of color already on her lip. So it starts to kind of pull everything together there. So they love the Afterglow Lip Balm because what it does is it intensifies the natural color of the lip. So even guys love it because it makes the lip look just really nice and full and juicy. How's so that lip look? Good. Is that lip okay?